YouTube, this is your boy Dan, aka Ajob. I'm bringing you guys episode 19 of the first ever Pokemon Moon Bug Lock. If you guys are hyped for this episode, show your love on that like button down below and definitely make sure you guys subscribe. If you're new, we've got a question of the day today. What is your favorite rock type Pokemon? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. If I had to pick one, I would have to go with my homie Rampardos. You guys can let me know what your thoughts are. So I did some grinding and you see from the layout that there are some differences. Oh, I get to buy some new stuff. There are some differences to the layout and we have a couple different changes to the team. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of what is going down with that as I stack up on some potions here real quick. I'm gonna show you all the new Pokemon on the team and kind of where I trained everyone up to because I did do some grinding and I realized that we had to with the rock trial coming up. So we still have charger bug here Of course overdrive rocking level 28. He hasn't changed at all bug bite spark charge and crunch We've got aster still 28 as well, which is kind of my goal I try to get everyone to about 28 reflect silver wind swift light screen gonna hang out in the box for a little bit Both these guys have one life uh, left we've got Argog up to 28 as well I did evolve our little spinner rack into an Argog did learn swords dance surprisingly sucker punch shadow sneak infestation Swords dance so actually pretty good there despite the fact that it's got a pretty low speed stat two priority moves essentially So not too shabby there uh, two lives there and of course Twilight with one life left Jolly compound eyes sharp beak silver wind sleep powder side beam and gust I'm gonna keep it in the PC to preserve it for this uh, upcoming matchup even though it's a shiny, I just uh, know that rock types are going to be pretty tough. And then our squad now, we've got Hayden, our female Hayden, which is serious nature. 28, of course, Rock Tomb, Double Hit, Brick Break, and Brutal Swing, that new TM, the Dark Move. And I'm giving him the Phytinium Z because I feel like having that Fighting Z Crystal could make a difference. And uh, the biggest thing here is look at that defense stat, 67, really, really bulky. We've got Podrick here up to 27, did not learn any new moves, and unfortunately Podrick is looking pretty terrible, but I am going to give it some rare candy candies here in a second I think I have two or three rare candies I'm gonna just get him up a few more levels and get him as high as I can and hopefully he'll evolve that's kind of my hope I don't know what level he's gonna evolve I'm thinking maybe 30 maybe 40 but I'm hopeful we've got the scuba bug level 28 timid water absorb with the mystic water aqua ring bite bug bite and a bubble beam so a araquanid I always want to call him aqua Ranchula, which I feel like is the greatest nickname I ever came up with but his name is actually araquanid but aqua Ranchula sounds pretty cool uh, uh, so there's scuba bug. We've got fun guy up to 27 now fury cutter spore poison powder grass not holding that miracle seed to boost that grass knot could come in handy against the rock types I decided to actually make a little swap I was gonna originally have charger bug on the team But I decided to put anon on the team and give it the waterium Z uh, Anon's actually relatively fast so that 55 speed waterium Z is gonna boost that bubble beam and it could come in handy against the Olivia So plus I have intimidate which also could come in handy So even though it's got that four times weakness, I felt like it's better to try this guy out and then last but not least we have honey here which is our highest level pokemon level 30 hidden power ice draining kiss stun sport and pollen puff with the silver powder so let me get some of those uh, rare candies out i don't know how many i have i think i have two or three and i'm gonna use them on my friend here let's see how many we have we have three so we're gonna use them on podrick and just get him up to level 30 again training podrick was kind of a nightmare because there was just really no way to do it i didn't have any real way to level him up because he doesn't really have any attacks or anything so uh we had to kind of just work with it i think he's evolving let's go man let us go we are going to evolve podrick right now and that is absolutely wonderful man i needed that I needed that, Podrick. You need to evolve, and you're just gonna look beautiful right now. You are just gonna look beautiful, Podrick. I have faith in you, buddy. I'm so excited for this thing, man. I'm so excited for this thing. What are you gonna look like? What are you gonna be? You are, wow, a Golisopod. Wow, okay, so Podrick is now called Golisopod, and he is a monster. Look at this thing. Does he learn any moves? Please, I need you to learn some moves, man, because Struggle Bug and Sand Attack is just not cutting it for me right now. Golisopod. This thing is a beast. And I'm, I'm assuming it stays bug type, I, I think. So we're gonna have to double check that part too, but let's see here. Oh man, this thing is intense, dude. Let's see what we got here. Hot diggity, look, you're on fire. Thanks, Rotom. You say that all the time. It battles skillfully with its six arms, but spends most of its time peacefully meditating in caves deep beneath the sea. And it is indeed bug water, which I figured it would be. I didn't expect it to change types. Please learn some good moves. Learn, oh, he's gonna learn first impression. So let's take a look at what first impression, excuse me, does. First impression, let's take a look. And I'm sure his ability is gonna change too. Hopefully he gets like a super awesome ability, even if it's like shell armor. Let's take a look at Podrick here. Podrick, 
the monster. He's got first impression, which is although this move has great power, it only works the first turn user is in battle. So I believe this is actually a priority move. So he gets like a priority bug move on the first turn. Look at that attack and defense stat. Oh goodness, 95 defense stat, jeez. He is bashful nature and his ability emergency exit. Let's use our stylus here to see what that says. What is emergency exit? The Pokemon sensing danger switches out when its HP becomes half or less. That sounds like the exact same thing as Wimpod. What the heck, man? Uh, that's like a pretty lame ability. But nevertheless, we will continue our journey here. And I would actually love to get uh, Golisopod some action here. And maybe we'll see if it can learn any TMs too now that it's evolved. Maybe it'll be able to learn some of these good moves. Let's take a look real quick. And then we're going to jump into things here because we've got a lot to do. Let's start at the bottom. So it can learn... It can learn Rock Tomb, so I might as well teach it Rock Tomb. Might as well. Uh, it's got a free slot, so let's just teach him Rock Tomb. It can learn Sleep Talk, Hidden Power. Uh, it can learn Fling, Thief. It can learn Brick Break. So I'll probably teach him Brick Break too, because having a Fighting Sight move could be useful. And we'll get rid of Sane Attack, because I'm definitely not going to need that. And let's see if he can learn anything else. Maybe one more good move. I need to get like Leech Slave or some other bug moves or something. Yeah, we need X Scissor really badly. But that's okay, man. Our Galisa Pod is ready to rock and roll. I don't know if I gave him an item though. Let me just check if he, if he has an item. I want to make sure everyone has, has their items ready to rock and roll. So everyone has an item except for him. So let's see if I have anything worth giving him. I can give him... Is there anything good to give him? I don't think I have anything that's going to... I mean, I can give him the Hard Stone, which will boost... Rock type moves. I can give him the Quick Claw. Let's actually give him the Quick Claw. Because if he can outspeed something, perhaps, that could be useful. All right, let's do it, man. We're going to go and continue the storyline. I feel like it's been forever since I've like been able to continue because I had to spend so much time grinding. It like took a long time to grind. So last time we were here, we saw Lily. She was kind of chilling out front here. This is like a secret entrance that I didn't even know about. And we found a big mushroom back here. We could sell that later because I definitely could use some money. And let's head inside to... Uh, what is it? Team Ether, right? Oh, so now I can actually come in here. Dimensional research, huh? That reminds me of something I heard about some rare Pokemon that can use rings to teleport itself through space. Like Hoopa? Ooh, we can go in the elevator. Into the elevator we go. Oh man, things are about to get intense. We're gonna go straight to the third floor, to the Dimensional Research Lab, and see what's going down in here. Oh man. I'm so excited. Oh, it's Kukui. Hey there, honey. Oh, who's that? Oh, hi. Who is this chick? I have no idea who this is. This is Professor Burnett. She runs a dimensional research lab, yeah? She's also my wife. Oh, Kukui! Look at you, man! Your A drive, right? Lily told me about you. She said you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag, also unconscious. Hmm, no how today? How? He's out doing his own thing, but he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a real kahuna, just like old Hala before him. You really think so? Whoa! Yeah, I really do! Good to see you again, How? It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought A-Drive here because I wanted you to tell him about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. I think we're finally going to jump into the storyline, guys. I'd be happy to. The mysterious, the mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean the Ultra Wormhole. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. The Ultra Beasts. It's very weak as a proof, but I can't ignore it. There is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? I mean, I guess so. Fearsome Pokemon. Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are to be believed, the Guardian deities of the island fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folktales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. Ooh, well I get to look around at the bookshelves then. Let's let's see what we can find. Bronzong, it brought rain by opening portals to another world. It was revered as a bringer of plentiful harvests. Palkia, it's total control over the boundaries of space and able to transport itself to faraway places or other dimensions. So this is true. They have made many, many references in Pokemon in the past um, to different, uh, you know, different instances of like 
you know, different dimensions and stuff. And now it seems like in Pokemon Sun and Moon, they're trying to tie it all together. I don't know if there's any other books to read, but we... This guy's gonna tell me about the VS Recorder, which we haven't used yet. There's a man named Moan who years ago published his theory about Ultra Wormholes. If you use Battle Teams, you can register six Pokemon. That's why Battle Teams are the best. What about you? I didn't talk to you. Professor Burnett was previously studying a dimensional space called the Interdream Zone. All right. I think that's everything. Oh, do I talk to Lily next? You wanna know what happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby, I mean, about Cosmog, so I decided to speak to Professor Burnett, but I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all, and then she even got her husband, Kukui, to lend his loft to stay in, and she told me to help investigate Nebby's origins too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still been trying to help me find a way to get Nebby back to its home. Hmm, she's been kinda like a real mother to me. I think uh, Lily's got some mom issues. Well, that's interesting. Let's talk to Burnett. We recorded several known relationships between Pokemon. Oh, I looked at all the bookshelves though, didn't I? Do I have to keep doing that or is that it? Let's talk to Hal. I'm off to check Diglett's tunnel next. It's a cave by po made by Pokemon, right? How about that, A-Drive? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kind of moves they can use. You finished all three of Akala's trials. Now comes the big match against Olivia, the Island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of all of them here on Akala. The Grand Trial. Olivia's house is past Diglett's tunnel. It's in Konakoni City. But watch out for Team Skull. I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. I'm off to check out Diglett's tunnel next. It's a cave made by Pokemon, right? You just said that, How? You're repeating yourself now. All right, well, let's head our way down. It looks like we gotta go through Diglett Tunnel next, and then we are on to the next town to take on the Kahuna, Olivia, which I actually thought we were gonna face Olivia sooner, but I guess we're gonna have to do a little bit of traveling first, but we'll get through that Diglett Tunnel, no problemo, hopefully. Uh-oh, what's happening now? Cutscene. What am I looking at? Oh, tell me that I'm about to see an Ultra Beast pop out right after this. Wow. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. That's a little scary, dude. Hey, A-Drive. So you made it through all three trial captains, yeah? Then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past Diglett's Tunnel. Diglett's Tunnel is... It's kind of near the PMC. It's easy to walk past it, though, so just keep your eyes peeled. Now it's Malasada time for me. This dude really loves his Malasada. So I saw it over here before. Remember, we saw it a few, few episodes back, but we never actually went into it. So we can head in there now. Let's do it, to the Diglett Tunnel. Oh man, Diglett's Tunnel. What do we got going on over here? We got a wild Pokemon, which is gonna be a Zubat. We can just send Golosopod into the battle though. Podrick! Podrick! <laughs> That's what he says when he gets sent out. Podrick! Yo, this thing is a monster, dude. I'm so excited for this Pokemon. I'm gonna try to get through this tunnel relatively easily. Uh-oh, what's happening? Oh, Olivia. What is going on, Olivia? What's up, girl? Oh, oh, A-Drive, wasn't it? This cave really is something, you know? It's overflowing with these Pokemon Kid Diglett, and they're getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So how's your all-in challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, A-Drive. Nice work. I see you've passed even Mallow's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diglett have settled down, too. If you are a as strong as you appear, this should you should be able to make it through this cave. And at the other end, you'll find Konakone City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. All right, well, I was going to throw down a Repel um, because I don't really care that much about facing a bunch of Diglets, if I'm being totally honest. So I'm going to do that. And, I mean, I'd imagine we're just going to run into a bunch of Diglets and maybe some Zubats and stuff. So I'm just going to do that to kind of make the journey a little bit easier, but are these trainers or no? Looks like you're a fellow trainer who can use Z-Power. Let's find out whose full force is the fullest. Beat all the trainers in this tunnel if you think you can take me on. All right, so it looks like I've got to take on a bunch of trainers now, which I didn't know was gonna happen, but, oh, there's a Tauros trail. Let's do the Tauros charge here. Boom. There's a Pokeball. A Firestone, very nice. That could be useful for something later. I don't know what, but it could be. And let's go up to the top now. I don't know if this is the way to go, because that could have went to the other way too. But it looks like there's some Team Ether guys here. What are you guys talking about? Phew! With Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against those Diglett. Oh, Alola! We're members of the Ether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon conservation. It seems like Team Skull was responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up, and for bringing them all to the surface. 
Team Skull is this group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tubbles, tunnels that take years to dig out. But we're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. <laughs> Some of the Diglett are still stuck or near the surface though, so be careful. All right, so like I said, that's why we got the repel. I don't know if it's gonna help us from Diglett's running around, but we've at least got it, so we'll see how it goes. There is a Pokeball here, a Hyper Potion. Not too shabby. This is a cool little mine though. What's going down over here? I haven't even seen a single trainer yet either, which does worry me, considering the guy told me to take on all the trainers. But here's one. What's up, man? Dig a hole! Uh, okay, I will. I will dig a hole. All right, what is this guy? Worker Jeff. What's up, Jeff? How's, how's life treating you down here? He's got a rog and roller. All right, so this is where things are getting tough because we got a little warm up against a lot of, lot of, uh, a lot of rock Pokemon, but we got Golisopod here. And Glasspot ain't messing around. I am a much higher level than this thing. We're gonna just go for that brick break. And uh, I forgot to turn the animations back on from grinding, which is always what I do. I always forget. I'll turn them back on again in a second here after this matchup. And a Mudbray, which is a ground type. So we're not too too stressed about that. I'm just gonna go for brick break again. Because I know it's neutral. It's probably not gonna knock him out, but he's gonna go for stamina. It's gonna boost his defense and go for the double kick, but that's gonna do nothing to Podrick. Podrick don't care about that. And I'm actually gonna go for, I'll just go for the Brick Break again. I think it'll just barely be enough. And it is. All right, let me turn those animations back on before I forget. Padre's gonna get some love and Worker Jeff goes down. So my team is definitely, I had to level them up though. I know I might be a few levels above, but we were, we were so above for a while there and then we like fell behind again and things got really tough. So I figured I'd kind of take a little pressure off myself and give ourselves a chance to at least be Olivia because otherwise things are gonna be really tough. All right, so last time we went down that pathway, we're gonna go this way this time. My repel ran out, so let's use another one here. Oh, there's a little cube thing. I have to go get it, but this guy's in the way. Work through brute force doesn't go well. Oh man, what do you got there, buddy? You got a Diglett, a Doug Trio. Worker Vaklav. I've never heard that word, that name before. Vaklav, Vaklav. It's got a Machop. I kind of want to see this first impression move. Let's see what it does. Now, I think it is a priority move, but you can only use it on the first turn of the battle, so let's check it out. It's not very effective, but first impression. Boom! Oh, and that was a resisted hit. Did you just see that? Jeez. Yo, Padre, calm down, bro. That was a little too much. Let's go for Struggle Bug. You ain't struggling anymore, though, Padre. You struggled for a while, but you're not struggling now. You're just a mean, mean machine now, dude. Padre don't care. Podrick is going to just destroy everything. He's got the muscles, man. He went from a tiny little Wimpod to being this beast. All right, so we got a Zygarde cube there. Not too shabby. And let's get around this guy here. There's a little pathway down this way. It looks like there's some trainers down here. But I didn't go the other way yet either. So let's see what's going on over here. Ooh, Team Skull. Uh-oh. Ah, no way, just when things were starting to heat up, yo. I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo. Yo, since when can Diglett use beat up? I'm so mad now that I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be here right now. A-Drive. It's how. Ah. Wait, what is, what is that? Ow, I was wondering who you were playing around with me. It's Team Skull. You want some? That's how we say hello. Nice knowing you, punks. Ah, oh, these teams numbskulls, man. These guys pop up every time, and they're so annoying. They got their drowsy and their whatever else. Let's see. Oh, they're double battles this time. Okay. Team Skull Grunt and Team Skull Grunt. Salandit and Fomantis. Hmm. Okay. I see you guys. I got Podrick, though, and he's got Pikachu. I find it so funny that Hal uses Pikachu. I wonder why they decided to do that. But we are just gonna destroy these things. I'm gonna go for that big first impression here, and we're gonna bop this uh, this little Fomantis. This thing is going down. First impression, quick claw. First impression, boom! Get out the way. Get out the way. Golisopod don't care. Podrick don't care. Electro Ball. This probably isn't gonna do too much though. He goes for Smog, and he does connect the Smog and poisons Podrick. No, he doesn't poison me. Okay, good job, Podrick. I'm gonna go for the uh, the big rock tomb here. And I'm probably gonna be slower though than uh, Salandit. 
almost enough. He's gonna go for smog and miss, and I'm gonna fire off a big rock tomb. Just drop some rocks on this thing's head, and see you later, dude. Team Numbskulls, you're gone, man. We ain't messing around. We ain't messing around. Podrick does not care about that. Podrick's ready to rock. Let's do it, baby. All right, what do we got here? Let's clean off some of this dust off of you. I got a little rag here for you. Look at this monster on the bottom screen here. Look at this guy. He is just ready to rock. This thing is awesome. What's up, dude? I'm gonna give you a little head pat now that you are just this monstrous beast. Ooh, and he gets a little love there, too, so I think that means he's gonna be able to uh, get boosted experience now, too, which is gonna just make him even, even more beast mode. I dig it, man. What are you doing, Team Skull? Yo, step off, enough with the beating up, yo. We may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as a bone out here. See you on the flip side. Man, A-Drive, when I fight with you, it's like even more my Pokemon feel at ease. You really are some kind of a trainer. That's it, I've just gotta give you something. I'm Max Ether, thanks, dude. That was nice of you. Max Ethers will restore all the PP to one of your moves, you know? Now I'm gonna have to go some, have some more fun with these Diglets. See ya. Ay ay ay. Oh, is that the way out? Okay. So we figured out the way out of here. But there was some more trainers that I haven't faced yet. So we're gonna head down this pathway here and take on some of these trainers. Uh, I don't know how many there are. But we also got a Dusk Ball, which is nice. And we've also got a trainer. So let's battle this guy. Whether in battles or in digging tunnels, Pokemon are incredible. I agree, man. I love Pokemon, dude. I'm a big fan. Even though, even though I don't get to live in the Pokemon world, I get to simulate it through this. And he's got a Diglett. I'm pretty sure Diglett is Steel type, so I'm pretty sure um, Brick Break is super effective, but I'm not positive. It does say it is, so I'm gonna go for it. He's actually gonna go for the Sucker Punch here, but that's all good, because that's gonna do nothing, and the Brick Break is just gonna destroy the Diglett. See you later, little guy. Padra gets a little boost. Fun guy goes to 28. Not too shabby. And Frank goes down. Easy enough, man. Easy enough. All right. Let's see here. I think that's probably all the trainers. Maybe one more. There's Olivia. Where was the guy that I had to talk to about the trainers? Looks like you did what I asked. Well, uh, do you want to compare Z moves with me? We'll see who Z is the best. Let us have a Z battle. The Z prove who has the best Z moves. All right. Let's do it. I mean, what are you going to do? What, what kind of Z move could you possibly have? Let's see. Let's find out, man. Let's find out. This guy's, he's gonna have the Phytinium, isn't he? Black Bell Greg. And he's got a Hariyama. All right, so if he does have the Fighting Z move, I should be okay, though. I've got Podrick. So I'm actually gonna probably switch, though. We're gonna go into Anon, I think. He's level 23, so I'm actually, like, significantly above him level-wise. Let's just go into Anon here, or Anon, because I can get the Intimidate off. I could definitely resist any uh, Z moves he may have, like the fighting Z move. And if he goes for like a rock Z move, I'm gonna cry. He's gonna go for knockoff. That's annoying, because that kind of gets rid of our item. Well, actually it doesn't, because we have a Z move. I'm gonna go for air cutter. And this should actually do a pretty good amount. And it almost knocks him out. He goes for knockoff. That's That means we're actually gonna just beat him. And I'm about to fire off my Z move. You wanna use some Z moves, baby. Let's do it. I'm gonna hit you with that Z Hydro Vortex. I can do Z Water Sport. That's funny. Let's hit him with that Hydro Vortex, man. The power of the waves. Boosting it. Let's go, Anon. Hit him with that big Z power. Hydro Vortex, baby. Boom. This was totally unnecessary for me to do, but I just felt like it was fun. Oh my goodness. Look at this Hariyama getting absolutely destroyed. See you later, buddy. You didn't even use your Z-Power, man. You said you were going to, and then you didn't even do it. Scuba Bug up to 29. And Black Belt Greg goes down. Do you give me any good items? Let's see here. Very well done. That's some real Z-Power. I'll give you a token of my... A Max Revive? That's all I get? Like, that's nothing, dude. There are probably other Z-Trainers that like me out there in Alola. Yes, yeah, so that seems to be the case. We missed the last couple, I feel like, because I, I couldn't find all the trainers on that one route before, but it does seem like that's the case here in Alola. There are those trainers every once in a while which do zo do use Z-Moves as well, uh, which is pretty cool, but only cool if, you know, they actually use it like that guy didn't, but that's okay. Anyway, here we are on Route 9, which is the police station. Oh my goodness. 
The police station is right here, and there's a police officer that wants to fight me, too. Jeez, man. All right, here's the police station, which I felt like we saw one of these at a different island, too. If you ever get lost, just check on the town map. I depend on it regularly. Can I go talk to this guy back here behind the desk? I can't talk to the guy behind the desk. I love how Snubble is like their police Pokemon of choice. If it's not urgent, could you come back later? I'm on my break right now. Okay, dude, calm down, man. I was just trying to say hi. Like, this man is rude. He is rude. All right, let's battle the police officer. I haven't had any cases, so I'm bored. How about a battle? So that's how the uh, the police force here works in Alola. You guys just, uh, oh my goodness. Look at his mustache. Police officer Haruki. Nice mustache there, officer. He's got a Growlithe. All right. So Growlithe is definitely a little bit scary, but we got Podrick. Podrick don't care. Podrick's ready to take some hits. Let's do this, buddy. He's got the Intimidate, which is a bit annoying, though. Um, we're going to fire off a big Rock Tomb. Which should hit him pretty hard. It's probably going to do half. Or just straight up bop him. It's just going to kill him. That was interesting. All right, then. And Masquerade goes to level 29. And Hookie goes down. See you later. Easy enough. You're really kind of a bad police officer, man. I hate to tell you. Who's this lady? If you go to Kony Kony, they've got to stop by Kahuna Olivia's shop, right? She sells stones that you can use on Pokemon to make them evolve. Oh, that's interesting. This way to Memorial Hill, and beyond it, the runes of life. Wow. The dead can sleep in peace here in the shadow of Tapu Lele's sacred runes, the runes of life. They say that's why Memorial Hill was built here long ago. So we can head up to Memorial Hill if I want. Uh, I don't know if we're supposed to go this way first, or we're supposed to go talk to the Kahuna. So I guess we'll do the Kahuna first. There's a fisherman over here, too. A netball. And what is this? Trainer tips. On the screen where you ride Pokemon, you can do the control pad. I got that. And there's definitely an item here. An X accuracy. You just knew there was going to be an item. And we can fish right here. Let's cast our rod off the ledge. I love how they put these little spots to, like, make you want to fish more. You know? Because otherwise, I feel like I would never fish. Let's battle this guy. I keep uh, repeating fair battles with Pokemon and trainers. What kind of person is a fisherman? Um... I don't know, a guy who tries to catch catch fish Pokemon? Like water types? All right, Fishman, what do you got on your team? You got a Chinchow. All right, I didn't even know you could find Chinchow at this point in the game, that's cool. Podrick is ready for you though. This thing is just so powerful, man. I'm so excited for this guy. I'm gonna hit you with that first impression though. Let's check it out. Boom! Take that. Jeez, calm down. This thing is a monster. And Fisherman goes down. See you later, buddy. All right, let's head to the town first. We'll talk to Olivia, kind of progress there, and see what's going down. What town is this? Oh, we got a cutscene. This is a beautiful town, though. Nice little strip. Mm. I remember this from the trailer. Oh, look at the deli bird. It's flying above the ground. A Probo Pass. What is that Probo Pass doing? That guy just ran past. Did you see that the karate guy in the background there? Where are you going, Deli Bird? What was that exchange? That was so shady. That was so shady. That was sketchy, man. I don't know what they were doing there. Is there anything going on back there? I feel like I have to go back there somehow. Oh, I can go into here. What is this, a haircutting place? This is probably a haircutting place. I don't want to get my hair done, though. No, I don't want to get my hair done. My hair's good. Let's go talk to this lady back here, though. I want to have my fur cleaned around my hip now. Hip no. Oh, you can't go back there? Okay, well, they have a nice little ceiling fan, so I guess they got that going for them. All right, let's see what... Uh, I definitely want to go to the next shop here and see if I can find the clothes I want, man. Come on, have that... Oh, my God, this guy's got an Oranguru in here. What's up, dude? Go do it! All right. There's no traditional-looking clothes that go well with my Oranguru. Maybe I should just choose the same items that will be useful in battle instead. Uh, if you like an item... Oh, really? That's cool. I'm trying to figure out... I gotta find my outfit, man. Please have the clothes I want. I've been looking for this shirt for the whole game. Give me the shirt I want. You better have it. Alright. Love Disc Tank. Lepa T. Chadot T. Argyle T. They've gotta have the, the shirt I want. It's not here, though, evidently. Still don't have it, man. Still don't have it. 
I mean, that's kind of a bummer. Oh, we can get some sweet shorts, though. Sporty long shorts. Scout pack. Oh, I can get a different backpack. What does my current backpack look like? I don't even know. I guess it's just kind of boring. I don't really have a ton of money to spend on this stuff, so until I find that Vikavolt shirt that I really want so bad, I'm just not going to buy anything, probably. I'm cool with my black v-neck and my, my black pants or whatever I've got going on. How is it? I'm an herb seller. I'm self-taught, but I sell good quality herbs. What kind of herbs you got, bro? Heal powder, some stuff like that. All right. I see you with your herbs. Let's head into the Pokemon Center here. And we've got a little little girl over here. My Poliwhirl, I can't make up my mind whether I should please trade it for your Zubat. I'm not going to trade you a Zubat for a Poliwhirl. That seems like you're getting ripped off. Wait, what does this thing say? The key Pokemon might look like it's here to help out or something. It's here to snag leftovers. Will it give you me nef leftovers if I talk to him? I don't know. Uh, let's get a Kamala coffee here. We're going to enjoy... After a long, long day of getting through that Diglett Tunnel, we are gonna enjoy a Kamala coffee. Sit back and relax here. Here you are. I became an apprentice to a mysterious barista. After many struggles, I'm finally allowed to brew some coffee, and this is a Kamala coffee. Thank you, man. I appreciate the coffee. I think he's probably gonna give me some beans too, which is actually why I got the coffee. He's not gonna give me beans? Grr. I thought the Pokemon was gonna give me some leftovers. What do you got doing over here? Everything we experience in our lives. I don't even know what he said. Hey you, I've got the Rotom Dex. Will you take up the perfect job for me? I'm an employee at the Other Foundation. We're looking for an Oranguru. If you happen to catch one, will you show me the data? I can pay you for your work. I faced so many Orangaroos when I was grinding before this episode, and I didn't catch any of them. I just destroyed them all. Destroyed them, sent them back into their, their jungle oblivion. Um, I kinda wanna grab just a couple super repels just in case I need them. We've got the adrenaline orbs, no point in grabbing those. I'm gonna heal up and I think this is where we're gonna wrap up. We'll explore the rest of the city and hopefully take on the Kahuna in the next episode. I thought it would be this episode. Look at all those Pokeballs, man, those nests and net balls. I thought we would take her on on this episode, but I guess I didn't know that we would have to go through that whole tunnel. So, my apologies, but we'll grab it on the next episode, so have no fear. Don't forget our question of the day. What is your favorite Rock-type Pokemon? Let me know in the comments section below. Definitely hit that like button if you're new and subscribe as well. Well, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. That's what I meant to say. That's gonna be it for me, guys. My name is Dan. I'll also go by Adrive, and I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace.